A few weeks ago, I watched an episode of South Park that touched on a subject that I feel like I could probably explain in greater detail and even provide a real life example. This is a little something that I like to call One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The Bottom Bitch Theory. But before we get into the science of the bottom bitch theory, we must first understand what exactly a bottom bitch is. Doesn't matter if you got six bitches, don't matter if you got a hundred bitches, your bottom bitch is your main bitch. That's the bitch that's gonna be there for you through the good times and the bad, the sunshine and the rain. And if it ever came down to it, she'd probably even stab a nigga for you. Now that's love. I don't know about you, but any chick that is stabbing nigga for me, that's the bitch I need on my team. So we're going to stick our bottom bitch right here. Now if you pay close attention to the genetic makeup of the bottom bitch, you'll notice that she has muscles. We'll get into that in a moment. Now for all the other chicks that you might deal with on the side, we just going to call them regular bitches. Keeping it simple. A few regular bitches that the typical male might deal with may include, but are not limited to, the mature bitch. Now she probably has a good job, great benefits, definitely lives on her own, but she's a single mother. Oh no, did somebody say kids? Boom, that's when you hop over here to your young bitch. She's probably between the ages of 18 to 20, in college, no children, but intellectually, she may not be on the same level as you, meaning she might be very immature. That's when we move over here to our crazy bitch. Now please understand this, no man randomly wakes up in the morning and says, you know what, I think I want to find me a sick ass bitch today. Somehow crazy bitches just have a way of falling into our laps. And the bad thing about it is you don't know she's crazy until it's too late. Now the only reason I stick around is because you probably got some good pussy. But the good thing about a crazy bitch is that sometimes they do have the potential to be a bottom bitch. But let me remind you, we call her the crazy bitch for a reason. Clearly, that's a gun she's holding. Need I say more? And last, but certainly not least, we have the stripper, also known as a freaky smurf. Now your freaky smurf is probably a beautiful girl, beautiful body, pretty much down for whatever. And as an added bonus, you could probably get rid of either your mature bitch or your college bitch. Because think about it, girls usually only strip for one or two reasons. Either she's a single mother, like your mature bitch, or she's paying her way through college, like your young bitch. Either way, you should look at this as an opportunity to cut somebody off of the roster. Because it really don't make sense to have more than one bitch with the same problem. The less bitches you have on the side, the less likely you are to get caught up. But unfortunately, most males don't think as strategically as I do. Always keep in mind that this is a game of chess, not checkers, motherfucker. If you want to win, you gotta stay focused. But the bad thing about a stripper is you're dealing with unknown territory. If you're not careful, she just might give you that itch. You can't scratch. Now you put all of that together and you might get something like this. You got your bottom bitch at the beginning of the flowchart, then you have all your regular bitches in between, and at the very top we have you, the king that you are. Now no somebody's looking at that chart and saying, wait a minute, why is your main girl at the bottom of it all? Remember those muscles that we talked about? This is where they come into play. Because your bottom bitch provides the foundation upon which all these other bitches can stand. It's kind of like a house. If you fall through every floor of your house, the basement is supposed to catch your ass. The same laws of physics apply to the bottom bitch there. If all those other regular bitches start to collapse underneath your feet, your bottom bitch is there to catch you when you fall. You can't have a struggle without a strong foundation, you understand what I'm saying? Moral of this story, if you're gonna follow the bottom bitch theory, be advised that this is a dirty game. Now I'm not condoning men to participate, I'm just simply stating facts. I hope that this video was informative. Until next time, be safe and take care of your bitches. Deuces.